How did you feel when you were told to give up rowing at secondary school? Uh, yeah, well that was pretty early on in the piece and uh, when I first started rowing I was a bit of a shambles. I was all arms and legs and uh, wasn't a lot of coordination and uh, I was in the bottom crew at school and I remember one particular regatta which was really embarrassing, you know, we only just made it there on the course and um, the race behind almost caught us up and my brother came up to me afterwards in front of the whole rowing club and he said, you're just a, you're a disgrace to the family, you know, that was a bit of a low moment <laughs> for me but um, it was all meant in good humour and um, I, uh, I think, you know, you have highs and lows all the way along and I think the most important thing is what you actually believe in and what you, what you know yourself you can do and that means uh, means more than what other people say to you. Your own expectation is always the hardest, I think, you know, especially when you're competing at the highest level, there's lots of pressure, there's lots of public opinion, but um, you're the person that gets up and trains every day and you know what you have to do and you know what you're capable of, so at the end of the day, your own expectations, your own goals are the most important ones.